Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a product review for you. I'm here to show you this stuff right here, this Ebon Miracle, what, I'm sorry, Ebon Wonder Lace Bond. It is a spray adhesive that is meant to help you adhere your lace front wigs. I've been testing this out for about a week and I have some results to share with you guys worthy of a video. So if you want to know more about this, if you've struggled with adhering your wigs or you're looking for some other products to try, stick around. I'll tell you all about this one. So I found this product. I actually think I saw it on, a, on another video online. I saw someone using this and I decided to purchase it and try it out myself. So for those of you who've been following me for a while and you've watched in a number of my videos, then you know that I love It Stays. So It Stays is a roll-on adhesive. There's lots of different brands and I've tried them all. And you just roll it on to your hairline and then you, and then you put your wig on and it dries and it holds your wig. I love, I just think it's wonderful. It's so easy to use. It works great under normal conditions and still I think is going to be my go-to. I can't say for sure because I've only been using this for a week, but I definitely think it's going to take a lot to knock it stays out of my regular wig wearing rotation. But like everything, it stays has its limitations. And one of the limitations is it's extremely water soluble, which is one of the things I love about it too, because it's so easy to remove with just a little bit of water. But because it requires so little water, it's actually not very useful if you're going to get hot and sweaty. And I will notice that if I have my wig adhered with it stays, if I have a hot flash or I get just a little bit sweaty, it will release uh, that lace front that's been adhered to my head and I'll be able to remove my wig like nothing is on it. Um, now, I don't always have to adhere my wigs. Wigs don't just fly off my head. I, I, I feel like the wigs that I wear on an everyday basis fit me fine. And so it's not usually a concern of mine because at some point I will cool down and then it will re-adhere because it's still there. It's the, the product is still there. It didn't go away. It's just so water soluble. So then I'll notice later my wig will be re-adhered. So it is not something that I worry about on a regular basis. And I really still highly recommend it stays as a wonderful adhesive. But if you need something a little stronger, if you want something that's really gonna hold your wig securely, even if you get sweaty, uh, I do think you probably wanna look into another product. Now, I have shown a tape that works really well. It's a lace tape, it's a Walker lace front tape that is a double-sided tape, and that stuff holds lace front wigs very securely and it is not water soluble so you can wear it swimming and you can wear it getting super sweaty or to a water park or whatever but the thing i don't like about that is it requires an adhesive remover in order to get it off and it can be a little tricky especially if you have some hair it can stick to your hair and can cause a little bit of pulling when you go to remove it it can also stick to the lace front of a wig and be a little hard to get off sometimes. I know people will use rubbing alcohol to remove it. I struggle with that. I do find that it doesn't work as well as adhesive remover. Now, another product that people will use is Got To Be. This yellow bottle of Got To Be glued spray. And I do think this is probably somewhat similar to this. I find this works much better for me than Got To Be. I think Got To Be takes a little bit more layers uh, a little bit more finagling. You have to work harder to get it to dry to adhere the wig. And so those are things that I've struggled with with Got To Be and I have found that it's just a little bit more involved than I have patience for. This stuff right here is super easy to use. So I'm gonna show you right now how I use it. And then I will uh, show you, so I'm gonna have multiple segments in this video. So I'm gonna put my wig on right now and show you how I 
use it to adhere my wig and then I'll film another segment maybe later today or I actually filmed one yesterday with this and maybe I'll tack that one on I'm not sure but I'll show you how I remove it it does remove with water but it takes quite a bit of water to get it to remove which is why I think it can hold securely even if you get sweaty because that's not enough water to really release this so why don't we get going now, all I have done, now I think there's multiple methods you can use to put this on. I just spray it right on my hairline here. Now, I will caution you guys. I think if you've got a lace wig that the lace goes all the way down to your ear, some, I haven't seen really many um, synthetic wigs that do that, but sometimes you'll get human hair wigs that do that. They're wonderful because they give you a realistic hairline all the way across. You can pull your wig back into updos and you've got all that realistic hairline. I think the struggle is this part is harder to get to adhere. I have not tried that with this. I have just adhered the front like I always do and it works great for that. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray and it can be a little tricky. I've had people ask me, is it does it over spray? I think if you're just cautious, like I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to press lightly and I'm just spraying it right here. So I do get a little bit on my hairline and I did have somebody ask me, is it hard to use if you have hair or do you have to have your hair buzzed? Now my hair has grown out quite a bit. I am growing my hair out right now. I'm gonna do some experimentation with some longer hair. So I have not buzzed my hair in about five weeks. So this is about five week of weeks of growth. I think it, it, um, it has worked just fine, but it does get on your hair, which is another reason why I struggle with the, the stronger adhesives that need adhesive remover because it can be a little bit of a stressor on the your front of your hairline. I don't find this to be that at all. So I just let it sit on here for like a minute or so. I don't have to take a hair dryer to it. I don't have to spray a ton. I think if you want extra strong hold and you're really worried, then one technique you can use is to do multiple layers. So you could let this sit for a couple of minutes, let it get a little bit um, tacky, and then you can go and hit it with another layer like this. Now, if you struggle with spraying it and you feel like you're just spraying too much, you could always spray it on your fingers and rub it on. I have not tried that, but this is working well for me. So then what I do is I just put my wig on. I have seen with some adhesive that people will use a hair dryer to help dry it. I have not had an issue with this drying on its own. I have not used any special techniques to help it to dry, but I want to encourage you to... Um, experiment. I'm telling you what I do. It may or may not work as well for you and the use that you're trying to get out of it. So there are lots of techniques to adhere in your wigs and we all have to find our own way. But this is what I've done with this one. Okay, let me turn this a little bit because I want to look in this back mirror here so I can actually see because I'm going to be wearing my wig today and I want to make sure it's on correctly. So you just want to get it lined up and then I just press down on it like I do with my with my it stays or with you know whatever it is that I'm using now I do not usually adhere all the way over to the sides I never really feel the need to do that so you saw I pretty much just sprayed this front section I think you can spray wherever you want your wig adhered now I'm sure I'll get the question Will it adhere the nape? I have not tried that. Um, I do find that the nape is a lot harder to get a wig to adhere to. I think part of that is because of how much your neck moves. Um, I think if you have bio hair, that can present challenges. I um, really have not worked on adhering a nape um, in the past. I do actually have a wig, though, that has lace at the nape. Uh, human hair wig that I have gotten so I, I might try that in the future but I will just say the only thing I've tried this on so far is lace front wigs I've not used this on a basic cap it does say lace bond I do think you probably need something a little stronger for a basic cap wig I do find that it stays works for me on basic caps I, I've seen people post in the past that it stays only works on lace fronts 
I've adhered basic cap wigs with it and it's worked just fine for me. But I, you know, I don't, I don't put my wigs through a whole lot when I wear them. And I said, like I said, sometimes I only don't even adhere my wig and I'm usually fine with that. So it's not a life or death matter for me uh, that I need the strongest adhesive possible. The other question that I got was, do you need to wear a wig grip with your wig to use this? I don't, I just don't wear wig grips with my wigs. I don't like the extra, extra bulk. I also find that it can be hard to get lace fronts to lay flat with a wig grip. And I do see that complaint quite a bit. But if you're someone who needs to wear a wig grip because maybe it helps your wigs to fit you better, then I think you can still use this. I don't think that it's a all or nothing. So if you wear wig grips and you want to adhere your front, I think you can still do that with this or you can go without a wig grip. The other question I know people will have is, can you see it once it's dry? So it dries nice and clear. I don't see any residue. Again, I'm not spraying it really much below my hairline. I kind of have a good sense of where my hairline is, where my wigs sit on me. I mean, that's just some things you'll get used to after four years of wig wearing. And so if you spray it too far down, and you see that it looks a little like shiny or there seems like there's a little residue there, just take a damp washcloth and just wipe it away. That's gonna be super easy to do, but I never have had an issue in the week that I've been using this. It's just been fine. Now, I don't wanna pull on it too much because I don't wanna wreck its adhering, but I can already feel when I do this, I don't think it's fully adhered yet, but I can feel that it's adhered some. So I can't tell you how long it takes for it to dry because that's sort of tough to test because if I were to go pull it up and it's not dry yet, now I've just set myself back. It will kind of release the bond that's starting to form and it may make it harder for it to dry fully or to adhere fully. It's kind of like if you put uh, you know, a stamp on a piece of paper and then you want, oh no, or a piece of tape or something, or a label and you pull it off real quick because maybe you put it in the wrong place or whatever it might be. And then you go to put it down again and it doesn't stick right similar situation you start to that bond starts to form and then you release that bond it's not going to be as strong when you try to reform it so just be careful with that but all I can tell you is that when I've done this at some point maybe 10-15 minutes it's dry the wig is adhered and it goes nowhere and I have shown that on Instagram I did a short and I actually think I might have put it on YouTube I will look for that and I'll tack it on to the end here so that you can see me. I'm pulling on it and it's not coming off. And I know people are skeptical. I have no reason to lead you guys astray on this. They did not send this to me. I'm not, you know, trying to do anything but provide you guys with good resources. If this didn't work well, I would be telling you that because I would hate for somebody to spend their hard earned money on something and have it not work. But I do feel I have to qualify this. It stays, works awesome for me for what I need it to do. And I have people who tell me it stays, never worked for them. So you're going to get all kinds of responses and this may not be the right solution for you. It's working great for me enough that I think I can recommend it uh, for something that's a little stronger than it stays. So that's it. That's all I do. I don't tie my wig down to try to press this down and help dry it. I know some, and it got to be a sort of like that where you need really some, you need to use multiple layers. You need to wait till it's a little bit tacky before you put your wig on. I've thrown my wig on within a minute of putting this on and it's still dried and it was still secure. I've seen people have to like tie a bandana or a string or something around to hold this down to help the adhesive dry. I've not had to do any of that with this, which is why I really like it. I know there's stronger adhesives on the market and I just personally don't, I don't know, some things are just too involved for what I wanna do on a daily basis. So this for me so far is like, honestly, they're pretty close right now for me as far as ease of use 
and ease of removal. This one's easier because it's much more water soluble. So that's it. I just wanted to give you guys all that background. I know some of you are just here to see how this worked, how to use it, but others are brand new and they don't know what they're doing. So please indulge me in the extra explanation of things because we've got a lot of new wig sisters. You were there once yourself. You know how that feels. All right, guys, so that's it. It's good to go. I'm ready for my day. This is going to hold all day, even if I get sweaty. And then I will come back here in just a moment. I'll put a clip in showing you how to remove it. So you have all the information that you need. I will link this product in the description. I bought it on Amazon. So I'll link that in the description for you. I think there's a bigger bottle. This is the um, 2.7 ounce bottle because I just didn't know how it would work. So there may be a different size. There's also a couple of different versions of this. So the one I have is the red version. It's the red bottle. It's Wonder Lace Bond Extreme Firm Hold Active. That's the one that I got. But there were a couple of other versions. I just didn't know which one to choose. So I picked this one and I'm glad I did. It works well. All right, guys, let's see how to remove. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick tip before I show you how to remove the adhesive. So I put this one on and I wanna show it to you now. I've got it all set, it's up in my updo and I'm all ready to go and it is totally adhered. Every bit of this is adhered. But when I first, uh, I waited for it to dry, I put it up in the updo and all of that and I noticed the very front of this lace was not adhered. This is Beltrest Peerless and it has a very short lace front there hardly any lace at all and so some of it didn't adhere maybe I didn't spray enough the first time you know that kind of thing so what I did was I took a q-tip I sprayed the tip of the q-tip I stuck the q-tip under the lace it was wet with the adhesive and then I sort of pressed the lace down and then I sprayed the q-tip again and I rubbed it over the top of the lace just the part that was having trouble adhering and that's all I did and I gave it time to dry and once it dried Again, I don't know how long, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Now it's fine. The whole thing is adhered. There are no issues at all. So just a little tip for you. If you go and try something like this and then you find a little spot of the lace doesn't want to adhere, try the Q-tip method. I think that will really work. It worked great for me. And again, this stuff works awesome. Okay, now let me show you how to remove it. All right, guys, I'm back. It's the end of a very long day and I'm ready to take my wig off. And so you can see this sucker is still on here very, very securely. It is not moving at all. There is no movement of this. Oh, just a tiny bit right there. But that's why I'm hesitant to pull because if you pull a lot, so this is not moving, let's take it off. Washcloth, water, that's all we need. And I'm going to readjust the camera so I can lean over the sink, so hang on. Okay guys, so I'm leaning over the sink because you need quite a bit of water to take this off. So I just get a washcloth wet. And then I just lean over the sink and I squirt the water onto the front of the lace. To make sure it's warm water. All right. Okay, so basically, you just take the washcloth and you put it on the front of the lace and you just squirt the water out of the lace. I'm hoping that I'm in here. Now if you spread the adhesive way over to the side, you want to make sure you get it way over to the side. All right. And then you just want to give it a minute or so. Just trying to keep it from dripping too much in my face. So that is the drawback to this versus it stays. It stays needs very little water. This needs quite a bit more water. Oh, see? Yep, all set. That's all there is to it. Just takes a minute or less. And it doesn't leave too much residue on my hair here. I'm really not feeling a whole lot because I use so much water and it really doesn't leave a mess on the wig. So hold on, I'm gonna readjust my camera so I can wrap this up. Okay, so it doesn't really leave too much of a mess at all on the lace. I'm just trying to pull it up here. 
So you can't even see any of the residue and right now I'm not feeling any residue. I think part of it is because you use so much water to remove it. But if you feel some leftover residue, all you have to do is take the wet washcloth and just, let me flip it inside out here. I still have it and it's up to you. So I still have water on my face too. Is you just take this and you just gently wipe. I wouldn't rub, but I would just sort of wipe forward and just get some of that off if you have some on there. But really all you need is water. It removes super easily. And if you do it right and you don't try to pull it off until it is completely released, you won't damage the lace front because you're not putting any undue pressure on it. And that's the key. If you go to remove it and you feel it sticking in any place at all, I would put a little bit more water onto that or give it a little bit more time. You don't want to tug at all. That way you will ensure that you won't rip your lace or stretch it out or anything like that. I really do think that it's very safe for it as long as you remove it properly. So that's it, you guys. It's really easy to use, really easy to remove. So I'm really happy with it. And for me, I think it's a great solution on days when I know I'm going to get sweaty and I, I want that wig security. So hope you liked this video and I hope it helped you. And if you try the product, let me know what you think. And if you've tried the product, put your experience in the comments. I'm one person and I've only been using it for a week. So I'd love to hear other feedback if anybody has it. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you find these types of videos helpful, please let me know, like the video, share the video because everything you guys do to interact with this helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel. So I appreciate that very, very much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, I don't know any other way to do this to prove what I'm sharing with you in the rest of this video, but I can sweaty. <laughs> you can see a red face, I'm sweaty, and I don't want to tug too hard because I think when you're sweaty, you can tug a lot and you can really pull on that lace, but look at that. It's still sticking. I don't know how that works because it comes off so easily. Well, not super easily. I mean, you have to use quite a bit of water, but it comes off with water. Yet, I'm super sweaty. And what this is right here, this amount of sweat, I don't know if you can tell, um, is enough that it stays would have completely released. 100% released. So, I got to say, if you're looking for a replacement for it stays, right there. That's working. Mm -hmm.